the rolling. You've had a good year this year, wouldn't you say? I've been blessed. Yeah. You've had uh, got the series, Net, Netflix series that's running. Now canceled after two seasons. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> going quite well. Then you've had the, uh, the award, the Academy Award for writing. Yeah, adapted screenplay. Yeah, adapted screenplay. Uh, a couple of nights ago, a few nights ago, the name on it on the sound stage, being on it. My tonight. brother, brother Tyler. Yeah, 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 and uh, you know. So, how would you assess 2019 so far? How, how, how would you look at it? As Frank Sinatra say, saying, as Frank Sinatra saying. It was a very good year. <laughs> <laughs> now that's one of my favorite Franks of that song. Uh, I, I love, you know, my man Frank yeah. Sinatra. Yeah, Hoboken, New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you why it's one of my favorite songs later. But I grew like up. That. My mother grew up listening to my mother would play Frank Sinatra, Mel Torme in the house all the time. Mm. Mm. Good, good. Now, the series is canceled, but are you working on anything else for streaming? And what 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 made you decide to go that route? You know? It was my wife's ideal, Tyne Lewis. It was her ideal to bring, to make a series like She's What Happens. It was her ideal. Okay. And uh, we're, we're all very uh, disappointed that Netflix chose to cancel the series after two seasons. We felt that, I mean, we were playing at least for three because if we were been told that the second season got last, we would have written it so it would it was a finality. I mean, it just ends now. It's like, mm -hmm. that's no, it just ends. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, God willing, we'll be able to come back and, and, and revive it someplace else. Because there's, there's too many people who love that show, and you know, I get emails and texts and stuff just on Instagram. Uh -huh. that yeah, they, I, I they, they, they they love Nola Doll and they wanted to to, to continue. Yeah, and, and a real good young cast, great great cast. Yes, jail quite well than I thought. Now we I'm very proud of uh, proud of it, and I just think that. Uh, Whatever metrics, whatever they, Netflix uh -huh. has, uh, they're wrong. Uh -huh. You know the the whole s state of the whole industry of this distribution of product has changed tremendously. Yes, yeah, streaming has changed yeah. everything. It's given people you know? opportunities to, to to do stuff in film and 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 series that uh, otherwise would not been possible. Biggest example is uh, the new epic film by Martin Scorsese, the last, the last oh. Irishman. Every studio had turned that film down because of the budget, but Netflix, you know, gave the money. What's the budget on it? Near two hundred million. Near two hundred million. Two hundred. Because the whole de-aging process they had to do. Right. They, okay. they had to make De Niro, Pacino, Pesci. Pesci. Looking oh. younger. You know, 40 years younger. Oh, Joe's back on the scene. Oh, he's great in the film, too. Okay. He's great. Okay. Is there anything... Uh, have you thought about releasing, doing a film just for streaming? Then into or do the movie. Well, the, my new streaming? film, which we're in post production, is called The Five Bloods. And it's right. blood. It's Vietnam through the eyes of black Vietnam vets, which has never been done before. And, and the depth we have, which no disrespect to my brother Francois Coppola or, or Oliver Stone, which both pockets now and platoon. But this is primarily from the eyes of black Vietnam vets. That is a Netflix film. So we will have uh, a limited theatrical release, Light Square Sacy's The Irishman, before it streams on Netflix. 
Wars, and this is going to be coming out 2020. Who's starring in it? Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. Okay, okay. And the other, any new fresh faces? Because you're, you've always been good about finding these new actors and actresses, and you know, next thing you know, a few years later, they like, you know, headline and stuff. And like, you've always been good at doing that. Well, that was uh, by design, uh, with my great casting directors over the years, uh, Robbie Reed, Aisha Coley, and now Kim Coleman, we earmark roles where we say, let's find somebody. Uh -huh. Let's find somebody, let's put in position so they get, you know, get, show their talents to the world. Has it gotten easier or harder still to make movies? It's still hard. Unless you're a Spielberg, Lucas, cast like that, it's a struggle. But why is it a struggle for Spike Lee after all these years? I, I, don't, I don't understand. Well, people look at the box office, you know, and uh -huh. you know, I've never made a film that's made over $20 million, so, you know, Look, I'm not complaining. You know, I've never felt that anything should be gifted to me. I've never run away from hard work. So, just keep swinging, and you know, and then battling. Have you done most of what you in film that you kind of set out to do, or you? No, I got uh, many, many stories to, to tell. I'm 62 years old. Kurosawa made film into his 80s. So, I'm going to be behind the camera for God, well, another 20 years at least. Well, then, well, well, within those 20 years, do you think you're going to come back to Atlanta and make something? It don't have to be a film. Oh, I'm definitely going to be shooting on uh, the Spike Lee stage. <laughs> Stay in the man. You can put money on that. Okay. I'll definitely be doing some of them. Yeah. I'll be shooting on the Spike Lee stage. Mm -hmm. And I, can I, I would like to say to Tyler, Tyler, thank you very much for uh, blessing me. In fact, it was a, a week ago today, I was here in Atlanta where. Many of us assembled to see what you have done, which has never been done before. What you did, in fact, I swear to God, I was speaking to Denzel a Thursday, and we were talking like we had never seen anything like that before. And we were we both said we're blessed to witness what we saw. So I got none love. Number love for my brother Tyler. You know, it's love. Yeah.